Fashion is an art, not a science, which means its rules are very much subjective to opinions, not facts. Some of you may like Picasso, while others may like Van Gogh, and there's no right or wrong thing. However, there are some rules that are considered acceptable by our society. Now, whether or not you follow them is completely up to you, and either way is totally fine. <laughs> but in this video, I'm gonna address something that most modern women have dealt with questions that we've asked ourselves and somehow have found a hard time coming up with an answer, and that is what pants to wear with what shoes. So we're gonna go over that in this video. I have several different cuts of pants to go over with several different styles of shoes to show you. We're gonna find out what style of shoes to wear with what style of pants. So first, I have different cuts. I have the skinny silhouette, which I'm gonna show you with leggings because I gave up my skinny jeans a long time ago. I have flare legs, I have wide leg jeans, and I also have straight leg jeans. It seems to be, myself included, anytime we come up with a new style and get rid of an old style that we just got used to knowing how to dress, we all have a hard time knowing what shoes to pair with the new styles of pants. So I'm gonna go over some of those new styles today in this video as well. Now, two things that matter when you're talking about pairing pants with shoes is the cut. We're also going to talk about the length and the width of the bottom of your pants. That is very important when it comes to selecting the right shoe. I also want to take a second and thank today's sponsor, Dream Pairs. You can find all of their shoes on Amazon. I'm going to leave links for all of these shoes down below in the description box if you want to shop them for yourself. They sent me a bunch of really amazing shoes that I'm absolutely in love with. How cute are these? You're going to be seeing these throughout this video. Thank you so much to Dream Pairs. The first cut of pant I'm gonna talk about is a flare cut. Now, I personally love these. I think it's the easiest cut of pants to pair with a pair of shoes because it covers most of the top of your shoes, could be the entire top depending on how you style it, which I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. But let's start out with these flare leggings, which are really in style now. I prefer to wear these with a platform sneaker. As long as your pants are hemmed where they're not gonna drag the ground or they're not gonna look like high waters, that's a very important is the length. Um, I think that most sneakers and shoes work with flare pants. So we're gonna start out with the easiest one in this video with the flare pants. This is of course an athletic look. These sneakers are from Dream Pairs and I will link them in the description description down below. Here's an example of one of the few pair of shoes, cuts of shoes that I would not wear with a flare like jean, and that is something that's really chunky and bulky at the top like these snowshoes which are oh my gosh, so comfortable and warm. But let's see what these look like when I actually put it down over. <laughs> that looks really bad. Obviously you don't wanna do this. So when you have a flare or something that's gonna go out over the top of your shoe, you want it to be a thinner ankle line and then the wider with the pant line. So you have, again, a seamless line all the way down to the floor is the goal. Now let's try a flare leg jean with some combat boots. As you can see, I think these also work great with boots. These are round toned boots. I think you can also wear them with pointy toe boots, which is my personal favorite way to wear a flare leg jean. Here are the same flare pants with some heels. These are a chunky Mary Jane style heel. I really, really, really love this, this style of shoe. The reason I like to do a heel with a skinnier ankle is because you it, it disappears underneath the flare which I really like a chunkier boot you wouldn't want to wear with a flare something that's chunky around the ankle because it might get stuck on the flare it might cause bulk and you really want a seamless line when you've got a flare it makes your leg look a lot longer I think so you might be asking what could I wear with a chunky boot like these beautiful Fleece line snow boots from uh, Dream Pairs. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so good. Well, I personally think if you've got something with a big, chunky, bulky ankle like this, you need something with a skinny calf and a skinny ankle. Something like skinny jeans, which I've thrown all of mine out. Let me know if you have as well, or if you still love the skinny jeans. I never loved them, so it was the easy transition for me. Or something like a pair of leggings with a skinny ankle, you can wear these with, and I think these are so super cute. I think sneakers are another great option for a skinny your ankle line like these white pair that I also got from Dream Pairs. I wear white sneakers pretty much every day that I'm out and about. They're comfortable, they go with everything, and honestly, I think they go with most 
of the cuts of pants that you will find. So when in doubt, grab a white pair of sneakers and as long as the length is right, and we'll talk about that later, I think these will work out with you in most cases. All right, moving right along to what I personally believe is the hardest pair of jeans to style with shoes and that are the straight leg jeans. There are a few variables I wanna talk about when we're talking about straight leg jeans. Number one, you can't put anything over it like you can the skinny ankle and calf. So that's not gonna work and you can't completely cover the shoe like you can with a wide leg or a flare. So we're kind of stuck in this awkward middle where I personally believe what's gonna make or break whether a shoe works for you is actually not the shoe itself, but the length of the pants. Now I'm gonna take these for example. I love these pants, they're some of my favorite, they're so comfortable, but I am 5'2", I'm short, and they bunch up a little bit right here. Now if you're tall, this might could work out for you. I know a lot of the younger kids are bringing back the 90s look and that's kind of part of the 90s style. However, if you're short like myself, I think this bunching up of the fabric down here just doesn't do anything flattering for me. I need a long streamline something to make my leg look longer and my body look longer therefore skinnier. <laughs> so this isn't doing me any favors. Let's roll it up and see what it looks like. I'm also going to try another pair of straight leg jeans that I have that are a little bit different of a cut, a different um, length for me, and we'll see if that works better. We'll see if that does the trick or if I'm going to end up having the same problem. Now one thing that I will tell you, depending on how much you have to roll, as you can see here, <laughs> I might have rolled a little too much there, you can still have bulk here if you're rolling up a bunch of fabric like I am right now, which is why I wanted to show you the other pair that I'm not gonna have to roll. So I personally, in my opinion, think this is a more flattering length than it bunching up on me. However, I still have this weird bunch of fabric down at the bottom here that cuts off right there. It's not streamlined down to the floor. I don't think it's personally the most flattering on my body. I think you can get away with this better with signals in the summertime, but let's see what it looks like with a pair of straight leg jeans that I don't have to roll up. All right, so these straight leg jeans are slightly shorter. However, even though I'm not rolling them up, they still bunch up a little awkwardly, especially when I walk, look at that. So I'm gonna show you how to remedy that problem. I feel like it's the best solution if you're trying to wear sneakers with straight leg jeans. And that is to swap a sneaker out that's a little bit more bulky here at the ankle with something that's very flat and streamlined at the ankle so that your pants don't have as much to come up on and bunch up on. I personally like this look. This is my favorite look if you're gonna wear sneakers with straight leg pants, but it de again, it depends on your opinion. You may like Picasso, I may like Van Gogh. Let me know in the comments what you like better. More of a flat ankle there with the straight line, with the straight leg pants, or more of a bulky sneaker where it bunches up at the bottom. Another pair of classic shoes that's coming back that I think always works great with straight legs. It's just easy to go to with the straight leg. And that are ballet flats or any kind of flat really. Now I don't know that I would personally wear these jeans with these flats. I would probably want more of a dressier straight leg jean, but you can see how there's nothing bunching up or holding that bottom of this fabric up on the shoe ankle. So that's really nice. These are a wonderful go-to. I honestly think that ballet flats probably go with just about any pair of jeans except maybe joggers. That would probably be the only pair I wouldn't pair that with. And I did get these also from the Dream Pairs, which you can find in the links below this video. That brings us to my personal favorite cut of pants and that are wide leg pants. I personally think they're flattering on most body types. I have heard some people with apple shapes tell me they don't think it's flattering on your body type. Let me know your body type and if you like wide leg pants. But if you're more of a straight uh, shape, a pear shape like myself, an apple shape, I think these look great because again, unless you're an apple shape, they usually go through to about the widest part of your body and then you get maybe not quite a straight line as you can see here, although I've gained a few pounds, so these are tighter than normal, but you can get a straight line all the way down to the floor, including covering up the top of your shoe where there's no bunching. I absolutely love a straight leg jean for that reason. They're so versatile and I personally think like the flare leg because it covers up the top of your shoe, they're so easy to pick shoes to go with. So let's go over a few pair of shoes with the straight legs. One, I've got these chunky platform sneakers again. These are some of my favorites. I absolutely love these and they go perfect with the, uh, not a straight leg. Did I say straight leg? I meant wide leg, a wide leg jean. Chunky boots can look great with a wide leg jean. Heels can look great with a wide leg jean. 
and flats can look great with a wide leg jean. The key to, I think, the wide legs and the flares is the bigger the opening of the pants at the bottom here, the less you're gonna have to worry about what kind of shoe you're gonna wear. Because again, the issue is the length where it hits you at the ankle, where it bunches up and cuts you off, I personally think. So let me know what you think. Any tips or tricks you have when it comes to pairing shoes with pants? And did you get any value from this video? If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel to hang out with me, Mousy Lee.